All right guys, we're Wayskate Warriors and today we're gonna show you how to flash your 335 or 135 or 535 with the MHD flasher. Let's get started. You're gonna need a couple things to flash your car. The first of which is a battery charger. It should be ideally 20 amps. This one is nowhere near that, so we're gonna hope it works. And if it doesn't, we'll be in big trouble. But I have a pretty healthy battery, I think, I hope, knock on wood. So you need a battery charger definitely to keep the car charged while flashing. Number one thing you need. You need a couple other things, the first of which is a BMW INPA cable. These are about $17 on Amazon, maybe $20 depending on where you buy it. It is OBD to USB and it comes with a bunch of software for coding your car. And then you're also going to need an OTG cable. This is a mini USB to USB and this is used for translating the OBD signal to USB on your smartphone or tablet. The last thing you're going to need is an Android device that's capable of running Android 3.2 or higher. I have an AT&T phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy S2, I believe and it does the job fine, so let's get started. All right guys, so right now we're gonna plug in Max's car because uh, during the flashing process, it'd be real bad if the battery dies, uh, especially if the ECU is kind of in like the unstable state between the stock tune and the flash we're gonna do. So uh, we have a float charger here and hopefully that'll do the trick. Uh, in Max's car, the battery's in the back, but we have a little like dedicated jump thing right here that we're gonna use. So we're going to hook up that, and then we have another ground right here, which is um, supposedly what you should use to jump uh, so you don't have to go to the back of the car. Alright, so we're going to plug this in, and then we're going to turn on the car, but not the motor. How are we, how are we going? Are we live? Yeah, we're live. I'm so excited for this. This is going to be nuts. Alright, so now we're going to open the MHD flasher. So we just purchased the Stage 2 map, and now we're going to go ahead and flash the car. So, we'll turn the car off real quick. We're going to plug in the cable. Right here. Now we're going to turn the car on. Alright, now we're going to do Stage 2 93. Auto or manual. You gotta put your phone in airplane mode. If you get any oncoming signals or data disruptions, it'll really mess up your car. We're gonna keep this on, there's 18 minutes left. And I'm gonna go grab the camera so you guys can see exactly what I'm seeing. So let's check this out. It's preparing the ECU, and if you have a K-Line ECU like I do for the 2007 cars, it should take about 17 to 18 minutes, but if you have the newer uh, 2008 Plus, I forget what the name of the ECU is, it'll take about 37 to 40 minutes. So like, the, the ability to just do this in your house is amazing. And like, the individual tunes are so inexpensive compared to like, what else you could get, so. How much is like a Unitronic tune for yeah, a Volkswagen? All right, so I have a stage two Unitronic tune on my Volkswagen, and I got it installed. They charged me like an hour of labor to install it, or like half an hour of labor. And then I also bought the um, Unitronic cable to be able to switch programs. So like, I bought like what this gives you the ability to do, except like I can't do logging or anything really. So like, this is better than what I got. Like my tune was like eight hundred dollars, which a little expensive. steep. A little like, steep. I'm pleased with it, but like this is definitely the future. This is the way to go. This for is. Sure. Uh, I mean, one day like all these all cars are gonna be tuned like this. The problem is that this is proprietary for only cars with the N54 motor. So until. I don't know, I feel like you gotta be really passionate to do something like this. This tune or this program was developed by ex-tuners of Cobb who I guess were bored and Cobb stopped support for N54 and they wrote this uh, piece of software and they write tunes all for this. So um, it's really sweet. I hope that more uh, car tuners move in this direction. Pretty solid. So it's, does this work on like the 135? Yes, this will okay. work on a 135, as long as it's the N54. a 535, and the 1M. All right, solid. Board. And this is like up and coming still, right? Like you talked to another like big custom tuner in this area who said like he might play with this if there's like a bigger interest. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna call him today actually. Okay. I'm gonna pull my stock bin file from this. Yep. And then we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do. That's so cool. And you can back up your stock ECU file. Yeah, I forgot to do that. One thing okay. I, I would recommend for you guys is before you flash the tune. And I forgot uh, with the Wi-Fi mishap, you should really back up your ECU. Yeah. It takes like a minute. It's not that 
line. And that way I know like some tunes, at least on the Volkswagen, um, Bosch ECUs, like if your battery dies or something, then like the tune will be erased from your ECU and it'll like go back to the stock file. I don't know how that works on this, but like it's really good to just have your ECU backed up. Like that's a safe Definitely. thing to do. Definitely. Highly recommend that for our viewers out there. Definitely. But it doesn't take that long on a, if you're doing a Bimmer Boost Flash with your Dell, it takes about, I don't know, a couple hours to back up your ECU. With this, it takes less than a minute, so highly well, recommend well it. Well worth it, for sure. Highly recommend it. Definitely. Oh, it stops toast. buzzing. Normal operation. Oh, things are happening. Dude. Uh-oh. It's oh. pretty exciting, guys. Oh, it beeped. What's happening? ECU, ECU status normal. That's a massive plus right now, guys. It took 20 minutes and 21 seconds. That's pretty good. 20 All right. minutes. All right, let's open the garage, dude. Dude, is it, re is it ready? It's done. That's it? All right. All right. You saw it here first. You saw it here. We're going to unplug the battery charger right quick. Yep. So, like, this is pretty crazy. I wish there was something like this out for my car. Um, to be able to have, like, all the logging software and everything on your phone is pretty sweet. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Oh, it's alive. <laughs> Neighbors hate it when Max comes over. <laughs> Alright dude, you pulling it out? Let's do it. I'm not even letting out the clutch. That's awesome. <laughs> dude, I'm really excited. What are your thoughts, Max? I don't know, but I'm, I'm really excited. Are you excited? Are we going to go for a little drive? Oh, excellent. Alright guys, it's happening. It's happening. We're driving out the driveway. One thing we should combine is it is like 30 degrees outside and we have, we have absolutely no, no traction. But we should be able to get a feel at least, right? To see if definitely. See how it feels. We're going to warm it up for a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Let's go. Third. All right, wait, wait, wait. What just happened, Max? We, we just, just did a mean pull, right? That was right, nice. We have to do that again for the vid because I didn't catch it. All right, I'm going to attempt to hold this camera still. Should I do a second gear roll or from a dig? Second gear roll, dude. Second All right, you ready? All right, here we go, guys. Second gear roll. Whoa! It's pulling, dude. What are your thoughts, Max? It's pulling, dude. I'm a fan. The misfire came back. Oh, really? I wonder what that is. It doesn't dude. feel bad though. You don't. I don't feel. No, it's gonna come back either. next time. What's happening, Max? Uh, this is gonna be a nice heat up. We gotta take this off. What's happening, Max? We gotta, we gotta change the um, coils on this. All right, guys, we got a misfire on one of the cylinders. We think it's a bad injector. We're gonna swap a coil from another cylinder and see if the uh, if the code reads back the same cylinder as cylinder three, then we know it's a bad injector. We're gonna give it a shot. All right, so we're here. We're trying to get all the little uh, dumb screws Isn't for the. Are there only three? I think it's only three. Oh. Hey, Aaron. Bad misfire. Real bad, misfire. real bad, but only at wide open throttle. So I'm going to swap a coil and I want to see if it's a coil. Or, or do you think it's only an Only at wide open throttle, I would blame those. Well, no, I've had these on my car for like... Those have been there. Since I've had the car yeah. and I've had no problems with it. So it just happened today. So I'm thinking it could be... Uh, we're going to swap a coil and if it's not coils. a coil... It... Coils usually don't go at high RPM, they go on acceleration. That's what it is. If you're, oh, it is. Yeah. So if oh, you're okay. like, if you're romping it, like. Yeah. Okay. That's when they, that's when they require the most voltage going for. Do you think it could be an injector? Because the injectors well, were done coil, on this. Coils are too common on these, you know. So it's cylinder and number you three. Had that, you had that cylinder three that was really ugly. No that's way. The, that's that's, that's the, the misfire. Firing on. Oh, that's was the it? Yeah, that's that's the one that had the black going by it. Really? So do you think? Do what do you think I could so do about this? Should we swap this? a coil and see if it switches to a different That's cylinder? That's a great idea. Yeah. All right, let's, let's do that. that. All right, do you want to do this? You need to. Uh, are those like bolted? Over here, right? Are those bolted in? Thank you. Just no, no. I'll show you a trick. Okay. You got like a pick for those? Oh, you just use a screwdriver? Well, yeah. You flip them like this. Yeah. You pull that off, and then you go like this. Oh, oh yeah. there we go, Aaron. Like my car, That's there's cool. like a Thank stupid you. little idea. Thanks. Alright, so let's see if it switches. Do you want to swap it with two or one? Uh, let's swap it with two. Thanks, Aaron. 
So if cylinder three is misfiring, it's got to be an injector, right? Well, if it's still that cylinder, then it has to be an injector. You but, just did plugs. Right? Yeah, Aaron, didn't we just do plugs? So I'm thinking. Yeah. So, so it's, it's yeah, I be had to. You saw what they look like. Yeah. That cylinder, then. So it's then it's got to be an injector. All right. Let's see what. So there was a reason. Just leave that cover here for a minute when we go drive it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just stick it up top. Right. Right. Yeah. Thanks, Dimitri. Did you clear the codes already? I just cleared the codes. Yeah. It runs perfect, obviously, after you clear the codes, but and it's really bad. I you can come. I don't know if you're bu- you're probably busy, but so busy. Yeah. Man. Don't don't come there. But it, it's really bad. Like the whole car just like violently shakes. Wow. Like I didn't get. I guess I didn't get yeah, up that like, high. You can feel feel the car shaking. Yeah. <laughs> be careful, Aaron. Absolutely. <laughs> Aaron, be You'll careful. Feel. That's my friend. Extension up there too. <laughs> this you is your friend. You can't pull <laughs> All right, hey, guys. What's up, guys. Oh, oh shit! Oh, we almost oh, got guys. hit by a truck. All right. All right. Up, um. Oh, go right. Go right. Go right. Go right. All right. Permit. Permit. Team Bulvage. Uh, we just did Max's flash, and like it was pulling real strong, and we had a couple of issues. Basically, where like when you get really on it, and it would be like peak of the performance. Um, the engine would like bog down, and it was really rough. And we were getting a lot of vibration, so. Luckily, with the new MHD, like the app that Max got, that was able to flash the car. We were able to read and clear all the codes. Uh, it was a misfire on one of his cylinders, so um, that's good. It wasn't anything with the software. It's just that um, with stock coils, especially like I know in the GTIs too. Like once you go from stock to tuned, then like your coils are they go often. That happens a lot. So uh, we just ran into the shop real quick, and they let us borrow some tools, so we just uh, pulled the coil out and swapped it to a different cylinder, and then the code switched to that cylinder, so we know it's a bad coil. Uh, we got the part ordered, and we're going to go pick that up in like half an hour or so, and we're going to hit you guys with an update then. Shout out to uh, J&K Automotive. If you guys are in like the Boston area or even Massachusetts and you need a really good shop, J&K Auto and Newton Center is your place. They don't have a website, but they're uh, they're really they're they're amazing. They're awesome guys. They're, they're really good. Like we just walked in off the street, like yeah. no appointment, no phone call to let them know we're coming. Like yeah. they just gave us a set of tools. They're like, so cool. The like engine covers in there and stuff. They're, they're like, like off the grid though, so like they don't have a website or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. I think you can get them on Yelp and like Yellow Pages. You has get their a, phone number. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're but, great. Like, Highly recommend. Awesome guys. They do great like, work. Mercedes, yeah. Volvo, Mini Cooper, BMW. Porsche, like they'll work on all, all that yeah. stuff. So definitely hit them. Up. Yeah, so we're gonna go. We just popped the new coil in. Um, this shop found a. It's like way after the last parts run of the day, but yeah, they hooked me up. They hooked us up. They found a guy to bring us over the part. That shot right there. Jane K. behind a bunch of stores. Hit him up. That's their phone number. It's in Newton, Mass. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're pretty solid. We got the new coil popped right in, and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna take her for a little test spin. We'll see how it goes. All right. Whip. Round two. We got the new coil in. Max is back on the uh, 93 tune, so the 91. <laughs> we got, uh, we're ready. We're gonna see how she goes. You can go out here and go left again, and we'll go down that, that straight road. All right, word. All right, oh, we'll, have, we'll have a dash cam video out in the near future, actually. Right, you guys yeah, stay tuned for that. Are you ready? Hopefully oh, dude, I'm ready. All right, let's give it a little romp. Oh, shit! Oh, oh shit! Dude! Holy <laughs> Holy Dude, dude did you feel that last pull? That was That last like pull back. Oh, it's like a freight train. Dude, it's so much faster than the it's JB4. It's so much faster. It's so much faster than the JB4. With the JB4, I felt like you would have so much turbo lag and then it would just kick. But then like by the time it would hit, you're like almost out of gear. And like yeah, this, exactly. there's way more torque, like low end power is way up. The JB4 is way more linear. Feel fast because like the boost doesn't come on until later and it hits you all at once. Like, dude, this car is it's transformed. Dude, this is a game changer this right is a game here. Changer. For, well, what was this like 140 bucks basically? All like including everything has been everything. 170. Dude, that's amazing. Oh jeez. We definitely gotta go where there are like no more cars though. Yeah, oh, we're opening the sunroof, you already know. Turn on the seat heater. Seat heaters, dude. The seat heaters in this car are very hot. They're, I'm a big they're, fan. They're, they get hot real fast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right, we should go, we should go now. Oh my god. That is, dude, you can wake the dead with that. Dude, the tune Holy is stupid fast. Damn. Like, great the purpose. tune is stupid fast. The car is stupid Dad, loud. Very excited with the minimal dollar high horsepower ratio. Dude, like. definitely, definitely. This is a win right here. Oh, where, how do we get out? We were just talking about uh, when we were playing with the tune before, we figured out that there's, uh, it supports like boost by gear and it also supports power by gear, which is very cool. Very cool. So that'll be something we're going to have to play with in the you future. You get off Route 9 right here? Oh, uh, yeah, you should get off right here, maybe. Uh, yeah, it's going to get backed up. We're gonna, oh, we're doing a wicked lane change. 
So yeah, the boost bike gear is very cool. Yeah, boost bike gear. Dude, there are a lot of great features. Oh, oh, oh my god! It's so fast. It's so fast. Oh man, this is game changer. This is this is so much faster than the JB4. Dude, it's, it's it's scary fast. This is whack. This is nuts. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. But yeah, so you can do a lot of. There's a lot of features in this tune that I haven't even explored, like boost bike gear. Yep. Logging is very cool. You can Definitely. dial in your boost. If you have Tuner Pro, I think you can edit the maps a little bit. I'm not totally sure about that. Um, so there's, yeah, if you look at the stock file, I think, or the current file, you can tweak your adjustments and everything. So there's a lot more to be done with this tune. We've only scratched the surface. Yeah, okay. definitely. So we'll be posting a lot of update definitely. videos in the future about what's going on, if we're, we're changing it up. Yeah, for sure, dude. We are both just saying, like, how happy we were that it was just the coil, like... Yeah. You know, I'm sure, like, some of you guys know what I'm talking about, where, like, if you ever get a new part, or, like, you ever have work done on your car, then you're, like, hypersensitive to, like, any small changes or anything, like... We just did the tune and we were freaking out. I like, told Alex just to film it. I was like, we're not like, gonna have a video today. It was today. so bad. But thank God, it really didn't. It yeah. had nothing to do with the tune. I so mean, good. We popped that thing in in like two minutes. Like we're all set yeah, now. Yeah, was great. It pulls real it nice. It pulls really nice. So we're pretty excited. Fast. It's so much torquier than the original tune. Like, Definitely, no doubt. And the JV4 too. No doubt. Thank you.